What is up everyone? It's time. <laughs> I feel like I have not done a travel makeup bag video in a while, just a traditional sit down. Let me show you what I'm bringing. We're going on our first like big, big, big daddy trip to Egypt. I mean, our first trip to Egypt for sure, but first trip that's like overseas like this for the first time in how many years, Tyler, you think three and a half? November 2019 was the last time. Okay, it's been a minute. We are very excited. Tyler's trying to sneak by. It's all good. <laughs> so I've been in like planning mode of like, what makeup bag do I wanna bring? What, just all of those things. So I'm gonna link the bags I'm bringing and any travel favorites I have below. I actually have an Amazon storefront like list of my travel faves. If you want to see what kinds of things I'm typically using, typically traveling with, and I can make sure to update it with some of these items. Well, one of these is definitely on Amazon. The other two I don't think are. Anyway, I will do that for you guys if you are curious, but let's talk about the makeup I'm bringing, the cute brush bag I'm using, and then also what's in my like TSA, what's in my carry-on TSA little bag, because some of the makeup I'm bringing right now is in there, and let me tell you why. <laughs> the reason why is because we, in November of 2019, we were on a wonderful Mediterranean cruise. We brought Genevieve with us, she was like, 20 months old or something. She was getting closer to, maybe she was like a year and a half. All of our bags were lost. And so for the first like three days of this trip, three or four days, we had no extra clothes, no toiletries. Like we stopped and got like the basic necessities, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant. So because of that, I learned a lot of lessons. And one of them is to always bring an extra outfit or two in your carry-on, no matter what. But the other thing is like bring your toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, perfume, and then also maybe a few makeup items you might like to have if worst case scenario, your bags got lost for days or for the entire trip, because that happens too. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm kind of excited to show you what things I, as I thought through, like what would I want if everything was lost for three days or so? So I'll show you that too, because like I said, some of my makeup items are in there. But this, my main bag is from Ali Glines. I bought these myself. I have been sent PR from her. She's another YouTuber. I know most of you guys know who she is. Um, she has a much bigger channel than mine, but I'd been sent PR from her a long time ago, but I wanted these pink ones. So I bought these. And then this new brush bag is really cool. I'll show you up close in a second. And then the other bag I am loving is from Amazon. It is clear on both sides. And it is, I mean, the Ally Glide ones are super well-made as well. This feels really well-made too. They have different colors. I liked this camel. It's got a little handle there. Um, the zipper is super sturdy, but I think they had like pink, white, black, camel. They might've had another color, but I was very impressed with the quality of these too. So I will link that specific product below, but let's, shall we start with the makeup? I think we, I think we shall. So this is all subject to change. I mentioned in my last vlog, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna be able to do this video in time because I need, this is exactly what I said, I need the pressure of packing it the night before to make decisions because otherwise I will go back and forth on what, what SPF do I wanna bring? What foundation I wanna bring? And if you're stumbling upon this video and it's the first one of mine you've seen, I do a lot of makeup reviews. So I try a lot of makeup. So I have a lot of opinions and you know products to choose between. So that's why I'm you know going back and forth. Okay, let's dive in. I'm so excited. So the SPF I landed on is the Naturium Dew Glow SPF 50. I've traveled with this before. It is so great because it's not too glowy and not too matte. It doesn't leave a white cast, even though it comes out white. Absolutely no white cast at all. It plays well with different makeup. So BB creams, foundations, I never notice it pilling up and that can be a huge issue with SPF. And I also feel that it does the job. I've never had like sunburns or anything when using this, knock on wood. I absolutely love it. So you can get it at Target and can you find that? I, you might even be able to find these on Amazon too. I'll have to see what, I, what link I can find. So I also though, because that's not super glowy, I brought the Say Super Glowy Super Gel. That's too many supers. Uh, this is like a little mini size, which I totally recommend because it's super lightweight. This is super thin and it makes your makeup look really pretty. Like it gives you that glow from within look without being glittery or like the Tin Man, like it's perfect and it's super lightweight so it doesn't pill up either and I just love this stuff. I need to actually buy the full size just to have. For brows, I bought a fresh one of the Lawless Hold Up Soft Set Creamy Brow Wax. I love this stuff. It is in medium dark. I'm not wearing, I'm actually not wearing any of this today because I was getting ready with other makeup so that this could stay packed. I didn't want to mess with it. I love this stuff. It just, it's just perfect. It's kind of my perfect brow product. Oh, I always bring Lumify. This one's brand new. I haven't opened it because my old one had expired and I don't mess around with expired eye drops. I just don't. But this 
I don't use actually very often. I probably could stand to use it. No, I feel like my eyes look okay. But when I travel, I feel like I'm drinking less water. I, my eyes just always, and I'm usually tired. It's nice to be able to have the option to have nice bright white eyes. So I like to bring it. Tyler even asked if I was bringing it cause he, he uses it from time to time when we travel. So always good to have. Um, the concealer I'm bringing, I'm bringing two for very different purposes. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one's in my carry on. So this Catrice True Skin, 10 bucks on Amazon, my favorite concealer of all time. It was such an easy decision to bring this. I looked in and I'm trying all kinds of new exciting ones and I thought about bringing one of those and maybe I'll end up throwing one in. But this is my favorite. It's my favorite, so I'm so excited to have it. It's like medium coverage. It just always looks nice. Foundation wise, I'm bringing the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. This is, again, holy grail status. Makes my skin look flawless. Oh my gosh, like so flawless. It's gorgeous. One of the few foundations that's truly worth the higher price tag. I wear the shade 130 if you are curious. And then my beloved BB cream. Again, this one's like 12 bucks on Amazon. It is so beautiful. This is probably what I will wear every day. And then like at night, if we have time to like freshen up, I might pop some of this on. But this is generally what I'll be wearing every day because it gives enough coverage. It's so easy. You can't screw it up. It makes your skin still looks like skin in any lighting situation. Like it is the perfect face product. I've loved it for years. This was a repurchase. I mean, it's probably like my eighth time <laughs> repurchasing it. I wear the shade 23. I just absolutely love that stuff. So continuing on, I have my Sephora eyeliner, sharpener, lip liner. This is one of the best ones and it's very inexpensive. I haven't decided if I'm gonna bring self tanner. I have like a travel size of my favorite self tanner. If I do, I would need a slightly darker foundation. So I've grabbed the Orborean BB cream in the shade Doré. It is my perfect self tanner shade. This is like half gone and it's like a little baby. But honestly, that's perfect. Doesn't take up much room. And if I don't end up self tanning at all, then I just, you know what I mean? It's not taking up a ton of space. Oh, the, I'm bringing a clear brow gel. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This stuff is so good. It glues your brows into place and it doesn't leave any weird film. I just tried a new one from Too Faced. That's like their brow laminating and it like, you could see that you could just see it. It was really weird. So I really like the benefit stuff. Then I'm bringing the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. This is just such an easy, everyday, lightweight powder to soak up oil, but it's not gonna add a ton of powderiness. It doesn't add a ton of coverage either. I do have a powder foundation I'm bringing in my carry-on, you'll see. But this is such a great one, and it works really well for setting your under eye. So I liked that it was kind of dual purpose in that way. So that is what I'm bringing. And then, we're kind of bouncing around, I know. I'm bringing the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is what I'll throw on my eyes, again, probably most days, just to kind of blank out that area. I'll put a little bit of like a my skin color eyeshadow on top and then leave it at that for eyeshadow just because I feel like it makes it look perfected and intentional, but it's not a lot of work. I'm not putting a bunch of color on my eyes. So this is great for that. It's great under like, colored eyeshadow as well, but you know what I mean. Now I am still bringing eyeshadow. I'm bringing the Maybelline Single Shadow and Dusty Rose. This is one of my favorites. It's such a pretty kind of peachy pink color. If you have hazel eyes or green eyes, this is gorgeous with those color eyes. And I just love it. It's so good and it's like two bucks. And then the MAC Single Shadow and All That Glitters. This is just an everyday fave. If I am gonna do a single shadow look, it's probably gonna be this. Just put it all over the lid, blend it into the crease. It looks so pretty and dimensional and oh, so that, again, an easy thing I knew I was gonna bring. Oh, I grabbed the La Roche-Posay. Oh, that reminds me, I need to bring an SPF lip balm. But I'm bringing the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Barrier Repairing Balm. It's for your lips and I love so much from La Roche-Posay, so I was excited to try this. It has the consistency of Blistex but no burn or anything like that it really is healing. I feel like a lot of products out there for lips that are supposed to be healing really aren't, but this one feels like it is. And it's from a brand that generally makes really good products. So I actually will probably move this now that I'm thinking about it into this carry on bag. Cause I would probably want it on the plane too. Continuing on with eyeshadow. Okay. This was an impulse purchase like a few days ago, but I was like, this is perfect for travel. It's the Anastasia soft glam Two little mini palette. I mean, the shadows are full size. I don't even know if it's called. I think it's just Soft Glam 2 because it's like the smaller one. These two shades right here are like my perfect everyday shades. I can just put that everywhere and go. I can throw a little of this into the crease if I want. I've got some shimmers. I have some other mixing shades. I can use the deep dark brown, which is a really good black. Did I say brown? Black 
for lining the eyes. I could use the red for lining the eyes, which can look cool too. So it kind of has everything I want and a little mirror. It's not super big, it's not heavy, it's not bulky. So that plus these two, I felt like were good. However, when I was getting ready this morning, <laughs> This is where I'll probably edit this a bit after uploading this. The Give Beauty uh, Quad in Simple Kind of Life. I know this was a recent purchase for me too. It looks so boring. It's what I have on my eyes today. I just put on this color everywhere and then a little of this in the, no, no, a little of this in the crease. It's perfect because you can barely tell I'm wearing eyeshadow. It took me two seconds. I could be so sloppy with it, but I feel like it just feels put together. And that's why I'm like, I know that I don't need both of these, but I still might bring them both. <laughs> Plus they're both new to me, so it's like exciting, you know? So uh, the powder foundation, this needs to move into the um, carry-on bag, but my Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet, this stuff I use nearly daily in my T-zone, especially since I'm wearing a BB cream. It has pretty darn good coverage, but sometimes I want just a little bit more like on my nose or like down here on my cheeks where I get redness. I just slapped this on. This is gonna be with me on the plane though because it's also got a nice mirror. And we'll talk through my, my in my mind, my plane ritual because it's of course a long flight. Long, long, long. I also brought the Stila Glitter and Glow in Wanderlust. This is one of my favorites. I'll literally, especially for evening time, tap it all over the lid. No matter what eyeshadow I have on, it is the most gorgeous glittery look for, like I said, nighttime. Like, going out, <laughs> not that we're really going out, but you know, again, this is like the only glitter I use because it doesn't fall out any everywhere because it's in a cream. It's so good, you guys. Bronzer wise, I'm bringing the House Labs Velvet Bronzer. This one, you do have to be particular about the kind of brush you use with it. So I'll show you what brush I'm using in a minute, but this stuff is like almost a cream to powder. It is beautiful, stays really well. And then I'm also bringing my beloved number one cream bronzer of all time the NARS Cream Bronzer in Laguna. That's just my shade. I can't screw this up. Like no matter how I apply it, it always looks perfect and beautiful. The tone is just right. The shade, like everything about it. This is a fresh one. If you saw my bronzer collection from probably last week, um, I you could see my old one. I would hit pan big time. And I was just gonna bring that one, but I was like, I kind of want a fresh one. So I'm still gonna use that one up, but I wanted to bring this fresh boy on the trip. It's so good, you guys. Okay, blush wise, I'm bringing three and I know I don't need three, so I'll probably pare this down. I definitely wanted a cream and a powder option because I do feel like depending on your day and how long it is, you might want a powder to last longer, you know. So my cream option is the Stila Convertible Color and Lilium. I know a lot of you guys are not surprised. It's actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks today, but I kind of blended it out a bit. It is the perfect cream blush. I just love it so much. This again was another repurchase because I'd had mine for years. And then I'm bringing the Milani Romantic Rose blush. Again, it's like my perfect everyday shade. It's foolproof for me. But the other one I thought about bringing because it's peachy and it's different than those is the Say Liquid Blush in Peachy. I just love this. So again, I'm like, it doesn't take out that much room. I've got space. So we'll see if this ends up coming with me or not, but I do love that. And then the only highlighter I'm bringing as of right now is the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight one, just because I can get a little bit, because it's a cream, I can get a little bit and just tap it where I want it and move on. If I bring a powder, then I also need to bring a brush for that. And then I, you know what I mean? And it becomes a thing. And highlight is something I don't even wear every day right now. So figured this is plenty for the trip. Lip wise, I am bringing the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. It's what I'm wearing today, and I'm wearing this lipstick, the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in In Love with Olivia. It's kind of my everyday shade. Like, I feel like it matches with my lips themselves really well. So for every day, this thing has seen better days because it has gone everywhere with me. But I'm also bringing my favorite gloss, the Ami Colet, uh, lip treatment oil in bliss. It is comfy. It's cozy here. Let's throw some on so you guys can kind of see. I mean, it's like stupid how pretty it is. It's so smoothing. That is way too much, but let me, yeah, you can see how smoothing that is. Is that not insane? Oh my gosh. I love it so much. And then for red lips for probably the one night, maybe that I deign to wear it, I'm gonna bring this. So this is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Liner in True Love. And then I'm bringing my NARS Dragon Girl. This is the Power Matte Lipstick. This is my red. Like this is my go-to red. Makes your teeth look white. It stays in place. There was no question in my mind which red I was bringing. 
And then I'm also, I threw in the Too Faced uh, Waterproof Liquid Liner in Chocolate. It's, it's supposed to be a brown liner. I really think it's so dark, it's black, but it worked really well when I used it the other day. And again, it's probably gonna be like one or two days that I actually wear this. So I was like, I'm just gonna bring that. It's fresh, it works, it doesn't bleed or anything. So that's all the makeup that was in here. Now, um, let us let me show you the brush thing and then we'll go into this bag, my brush bag. This is perfect. I love that it's still thin. It's not gonna take up a ton of space. I've been using that silicone kind you can find on Amazon. I did see that they finally make slightly bigger ones. Just the other day I was looking and I'm like, oh, um, so that's great and that's something I would totally consider. I can link below the ones I found that I, I would have bought had I not bought this. I think I like this better though because I like that it's clear in the front. I like that it holds the brushes in place. You can kind of see. And again, it's still really thin. So these are the brushes I'm bringing. I'm not really, I don't feel like I wanna go through them all. Some of my favorite brands are BK Beauty. I love so many brushes from them. This is my most used. Honestly, this is like the only eye brush I use. <laughs> it's the 201. It is all I use. I know, I wanna say I have a discount code with them. I can link below if you are curious um, to try some. You guys knew the Haley's Beauty cream bronzer brush was going with me. This is like 12 bucks on Amazon. I have like two of these. It's the best. Also bringing the Sephora number 56 for concealer. I might switch, switch this one out for a smaller one. This one's kind of big, but I just really like it. Um, you better believe I'm bringing my Real Techniques 449 for cream blush. You can totally use this for powder as well. Um, which is my plan, I'm just gonna use it for both. I also am really liking this new product, the Real Techniques, it's like half sponge, half velour puff, because when I'm doing my liner and I need to kind of hold it in place, it doesn't mess up my makeup. So I'm, I'm planning to bring that. So that's the kind of general overview of the brushes I'm bringing. I like the Sephora Pro brand of brushes. I like Anissa brushes, although the one I might switch my concealer with is the Anissa concealer brush because I really like that and it's a little bit smaller. So we'll see. Um, I've got my tweezers in there. I'll probably toss one. I might bring two of my, because these are like a dollar or two on Amazon. I might bring two of these in here and just kind of squash them in. Um, we travel between a few different places and I hate like putting my dirty sponge like back in here. So I might grab like a Ziploc bag to put them in so they're not just like loosey goosey in there. All right, let's talk about this bag. This is the bag I would be the most interested in seeing someone else's of because I do find fascinating like what kinds of things we find important enough to like keep with us. You know, I'm carrying, I am just have my checked bag and my Vera Bradley backpack, which heart eyes, I love, I will link below. At this point I have two sizes and I love them both. I don't know which one I'm gonna end up needing, but it is the greatest travel book bag I've ever owned and I've tried a lot. So I've got some contacts. I do daily contacts. And so, um, and that's when I'm not wearing glasses. I'm going to have my glasses with me and I don't foresee myself flying with these in cause you're going to get dry eye and you know what I mean? For me, I don't have to be wearing my glasses at all time. <laughs> so I'm going to have these with me just in case, but I think I will probably wear glasses when I need them, when I need to see distance. I always have a hair tie and then like a little scrunchie. I have Tums. I honestly, I bought this thing a long time ago and I just refill with our big thing of Tums. This is a necessity. I, boy, well, how old am I? 34. Tyler's, he, we're both like realizing like, well, yep. We now know like we got to travel with Tums. Like ask me six years ago, no. But now I'm like, I absolutely must have Tums with me. <laughs> so here are some of the, the, before I get into the makeup, the necessities that I was like, I absolutely have to have with me just in case. So I have my travel toothbrush and toothpaste. I actually have a larger toothpaste in my actual like toiletry bag that'll be in my checked bag, but I wanted to have one with me. And honestly, I'll probably go through both of them since it is like two weeks. And then this is a brand new travel brush from Target. These are really nice, actually. I usually just bring a full size one with a little cover, but I'm like, honestly, this is perfect. It's gonna get the job done. So definitely that, because even if my luggage wasn't lost, it'll be nice to be able to maybe midway through the flight brush my teeth because it's, a, it's three different flights to get there. And um, the two outer ones are like, you know, two or three hours each, but the middle one's like 13 hours. So that's the one that like, we're gonna be like, I'm getting into comfy clothes. I'm gonna wash my face, do a little bit of skincare. I'll show you, brush my teeth and actually go to bed. And why did I do it like a mummy? But I'm gonna try to actually go to bed. And then I'm bringing a little bit of makeup. I might put some on when the flight's almost over to feel like I'm ready for the day. Anyway, so deodorant. I Okay, so I was sponsored by Lumi long ago. I guess it wasn't that long ago, like four months ago, what, five months ago. 
I love it though. I've tried all of the different things and I'm honing in on exactly which products I like, but this is the whole body deodorant, but it's the invisible cream. So it's the kind, this is a brand new one that will come through. I guess I can take that off um, here. I like this kind and I like the kind that you squeeze out and put on with your fingers. I like their like solid deodorant too, but I definitely feel like we're gonna be sweating a lot. And sometimes because that can pill up, I, I just feel like this might be better to have. I don't know. I. It's just the way I operate. So that's what I'm bringing and that's gonna be in this bag because I guess technically it is a liquid. Not everything in here is a liquid. I just wanted it all together. Um, I'm also bringing hand sanitizer. Once I get on the plane, I'll probably make this a little easier to grab, but hand sanitizer is a must. Okay, I fell in love with these. They're from the brand Honey Pot and they're their sensitive wipes. So I have like a regular thing of them that you just pull them out, you know like makeup wipes, but these they had individually wrapped and I was like, perfect. So I have a whole bunch of these so I can use them daily if I want, but you can use them anywhere. And I love that like sensitive areas. Sure. But you can use them on your body, your face, you know, underarms. I'm like super excited. So these, I know I will end up using while we're on the plane or in between flights, it's just nice to freshen up. And then I also brought, this is more of a, in case our luggage gets uh, lost for a while thing, this little sun bomb SPF 30. We're gonna be in Egypt, we're gonna need sunblock. And if we didn't have access to any, I mean, I'm sure we could buy some, but I feel better knowing we have some. I also brought Aquaphor, I love for my lips as well. And then, so I mentioned doing like a little bit of skincare. I brought this little DHC deep cleansing oil. Honestly, it's like half gone, which is perfect. Cause if I use it up, we're just gonna to toss it. I have a bigger size for my actual checked bag. This is gonna be a long video. And then I also brought this teeny tiny fresh face cleanser. Again, I have a bigger one in my other bag, but I figure I can actually wash my face by the time it's time for us to sleep on the flight. And then I have, oh, I was supposed to have, where is it? Oh, there it is. The Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream. I'm just going to put this moisturizer on once my face is clean. That should be good. And then when we get closer to landing, I might throw some makeup on. So I just grabbed a couple of things. I've got this lip balm I might take out because I'm like, okay, now we've got too many lip balms. It's the True Botanicals Glossy Balm. I just really like the rose scent. It's still new to me, so I was also just excited, but it's kind of heavy. So I have a feeling this one might not come with me, but I have just kind of my bare necessities for a face. So I grabbed, this is almost gone. I might honestly throw it away mid trip because A, it's gonna expire soon, but B, it is truly almost gone, which is perfect because I'm already bringing a BB cream, but I did, my Misha BB cream was so full. I was like, I don't really want it in here, like weighing it down. This is really light, it's almost empty. I am way over explaining this. I just wanted to share my thought process, okay? <laughs> this is me still thinking through all of this and making sure anything I'm saying makes sense, you know? But I love the Tower 28 Sunny Days. This is in the shade Melrose. Again, just a face tint. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Corrector. I love just, I don't need a brush with, or a sponge or anything with any of these. I can just tap it on, it brightens that area up. And again, it's teeny tiny. And then I have the Essence Make Me Brow. Again, super lightweight, teeny tiny. The only other makeup I brought is an eyeliner from Makeup by Mario. This is just a fresh one. And the reason I brought this and not my, not my Sephora 12 hour one is because it has the brush. And I thought it'd be nice to be able to kind of smudge it out if I want. <laughs> We're getting fancy on this plane. <laughs> um, and not have to bring a separate brush, at least for the air, airplane. And then the one mascara I'm bringing, so I better not lose it, the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara, I absolutely love. Those are the makeup items. So the other things I have in here is just a little Tide To Go pen and then my perfume for this trip. So I bought it specifically so that I can associate this scent with this trip. It's the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla. It smells truly like maybe the best smelling perfume I've ever smelled. And I'm so excited to finally have tried it. I've heard enough of my friends talk about it that I'm excited to have it and it smells if you've never smelled Mod Vanilla, go smell it. I have Ariana Grande Cloud. I like that. This is 10 times better. 10 times better. Um, I also brought this makeup remover pen. I might not need it in here, so I might move it to just my makeup bag, but this I get on Amazon. It has extra tips that are already covered in the makeup removing solution. So like if you need to clean up like little dots of makeup, mascara, liner, if you want to fix your wing, this is amazing. And then I also have this teeny tiny Dr. Jart SPF. Again, I, I don't know that I need it in there, but it's just for your face. And then I also threw in this lipstick, the NARS Dolce Vita lipstick, which I love. But again, I'm like, do I really need it in there? Maybe, maybe. Oh, the only other thing I wanted to mention that I just discovered is, um, I cannot remember who I heard talking about this on Instagram. It's gonna kill me. But it's the I Do Care Tap Secret Dry Shampoo. Oh 
my gosh. Okay, if you have been, I, I was just gonna bring like an aerosol dry shampoo, but I'm like, gosh, it takes up a lot of room and I'm definitely gonna run out because I use dry shampoo a lot. This, actually, this is, I think their smaller one. I don't know, it was a two pack and it's not very big, so it's kind of perfect for travel. It's not a liquid, so it doesn't need to take up room in your liquids bag if you don't want it to. But you literally, the powder comes out of here and so you, I don't think I have this one open yet, which is how I want it. The other one I have open, I've been using. But you literally, the powder so easily, oh, it's open, okay. The powder comes out. So you literally tap it on your hair, all over the place, rub it in. Best dry shampoo I've ever used. Is this the best kept secret? <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys have known about it forever and you're like, duh. Oh my gosh, this works better than like any aerosol I've ever used. And I've tried all kinds of the like dry shampoos that are, you know, you can just kind of squeeze it on or you've got a little brush and do it. And it never quite applies enough or it's too much. Oh my gosh. So I'm so excited to have this. I have no qualms about traveling with it. I just couldn't believe it. So yeah, you can get this on Amazon. I bought a two pack. You can get a one pack as well. It's just a better deal to get more than one. So that's everything. I hope that this was fun. I definitely over explained as usual. I'll be curious what my makeup bag here in a couple days actually ends up looking like. I really think this is what I'm going to bring. There's nothing that stands out as like, do I really need to bring that? I mean, like maybe tamp down one of the blushes here and that, you know, but, but other than that, I don't think I'm bringing an excessive amount considering how much I love makeup and it's like a big part of uh, my life, <laughs> LOL. So that was everything. I hope you enjoyed it. So obviously there's a lot of things that I didn't show toiletry wise that are in my proper toiletry bag. I have a hanging one, which by the way, I'll link that one as well. There's gonna be a lot of links down there. Sorry ahead of time. I'll link that one below because I've tried a lot of the hanging toiletry bags that this one is the best, hands down. <laughs> it's the best one and it's on Amazon, it's not even expensive. But it you can fit more than you would ever believe and it still folds up, it easily zips. Like every time I fill it up, I think, oh, this isn't gonna zip and it easily does. And I'm like, what is this thing? <laughs> um, but yeah, that and if you're curious, like my favorite luggage and stuff, I know usually if I do a video like this, I get those kinds of questions. I can link my favorite um, suitcase, the one all of it, we now all have one and it's it's what we use. They are just the best. Um, I will link that below as well. So thank you guys for watching. I, I think by the time you're seeing this, I will be close to being home and I bet I will be excited to be home and reunited with all my things, but I love packing for trips. It's one of like the weird joys in my life that I enjoy. So this has been really fun. <laughs> A little stressful, but very fun. Also, if you wanna see the vlogs from our adventures in Egypt, they will be going up on my husband, Tyler's channel, which is Tyler Braun. I'll link his channel below, shameless plug. We are very excited for those vlogs. So once they start going live, I'll probably share about it on my Instagram just in case. But yeah, that's where you can check out what we're doing. And I'm sure that I'm posting from time to time on my Instagram, some pictures of our adventures or even just stories. So if you wanna see that, my Instagram is it's Jessica Braun. And yeah, that's all. I love you guys. I hope you subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.